Hey guys, Mike from Fire and Brilliance. This episode, we're doing something a little different. What we're talking about is jewelry, materialism, and insecurities. Yes, I said it. I'm actually talking about the personalities of why some people purchase jewelry for all of the wrong reason. And before you actually say, well, Mike, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you saying? You're saying people are purchasing it because they're insecure. I want you to hold on. I just want you to hear me out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and provide you with a case uh, in terms of showing you what I'm referring to. And at the end of the video, you let me know whether you agree or you disagree. I'm not here to say that I know everything. All I'm saying is I'm basing it on my experience of being in the business for over 10 years. The first and foremost reason why people purchase jewelry for the wrong reasons is to show off yes ladies and gentlemen that is what I just said many people purchase jewelry not because they care for jewelry many people purchase jewelry not because they like jewelry many people purchase jewelry not because they're jewelry enthusiasts or hobbyists many people purchase jewelry only because they want to show it off because jewelry is a luxury item and because jewelry typically is very very expensive and it shows a stature and it shows that you made it in life if you own a lot of jewelry therefore it's a show-off mechanism to show people that hey look world i've made it right and again if that's you hey there's no right or wrong answer you've been following the channel for a long time you may already know there is really no right or wrong answer if you like to show off then that's great that's on you but if you're doing it for the wrong reasons because you don't actually like jewelry, but you're only buying it to show off, and you're only buying it because it, it makes you feel better uh, to show off that, hey, I'm better than someone else. And believe it or not, many people do do that. They don't actually want to spend $10,000 on a chain. They don't actually want to spend $100,000 on a diamond chain, but they're doing it because they want to show to the world that, hey, I've made it. They're showing off, right? So in that case, it's like you know one person that might be getting married first, they might have a one carrot and the next person has to show them up that you know let's just say them the same group of friends one girl got married and another girl got married girl a got married first so she had a one carrot well the second girl that gets married in the group now has to get have the two carrot and guess what the third girl is going to try to show off and say hey i'm going to get a three carrot and a four carrot and a five carrot so that whole idea of wanting up each other and showing off i believe in my personal opinion that you're purchasing jewelry for the wrong reasons number two keep up with the joneses yes i said it there are many many people out there uh, that are i'm just gonna say it very materialistic okay and if they are very materialistic and they're in a group of very materialistic people guess what they're always going to try to keep up with one another or in other words keep up with the joneses right so one person might just bought a new expensive watch and the other person might say, hey, I like your watch, but guess what? I'm going to go buy something that's better than yours. And then the next guy said, whoa, that's nice. I'm going to buy one that's equivalent so I can be part of the group too, right? And then the next guy might end up buying a watch and a chain. And then the guy after that might buy a watch, a chain, and some earrings. And so the list goes on and on and keeps up with the Joneses. Now, am I saying this is wrong? Am I saying this is right? No. If you are doing it because you like the style, if you're doing it because you're a hobbyist, if you're doing it because you love jewelry, then you're doing it for all the right reasons. Now, if you're keeping up with the Joneses and you're doing it only to show your friends and family that, hey, I could do it too, but you don't care for jewelry, then you're just wasting your money in my opinion. Because if you're doing that, then you're doing it for the wrong reason number three buying other people's love yes i said it they're buying other people's love what does this mean i mean there's many times you can say what you want to say there are people out there let's just say hypothetically in a situation where the man is 80 years old his girlfriend is 20 years old and he's buying her a lot of jewels gifts diamonds necklaces and all the works hey i am not mad at you i'm not hating on the fact that you're doing this more power to you but at the end of the day it is a transaction and you are buying somebody else's love now if you want true love that's one thing if you're buying someone else's love and it's all transactional that's another thing and that's on you guys right but i'm not saying it's right or wrong all i'm saying is that in this situation if you're buying someone else's love and they don't love you truly and intentionally and because of you as a person but rather than things that you can provide to the person then you are buying their love and in this case based on my own personal opinion you are buying jewelry for the wrong 
reasons. The last and most triggering reasons why people actually do it stems from personal insecurity. Unfortunately, there are people that will mask themselves with a bunch of external items such as jewelry to fill a void of how they feel on the inside. Hey, if I can look rich and wealthy on the outside, maybe they won't judge me for how I feel on the inside. Hey, maybe I'm just really not feeling that well about myself, but I'll make myself feel better by putting this big chain on my neck, put on my some diamond earrings on my ears, put a nice watch on my, on my wrist. And again, hey guys, if you guys actually love jewelry, they're doing it for the right reasons, okay? I love wearing jewelry too, but I'm doing it for the right reasons. But if you're doing it just to mask a void internally, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons, which means you're masking your own insecurity. All right, so you might ask, Michael, what does that mean? What, what are you saying that, okay, it's masking your insecurity by wearing some jewelry? Aren't you in the jewelry business? Don't you want to sell jewelry? Don't you want people to actually buy jewelry because it makes them feel good about themselves? Absolutely, of course. Of course, we want people to buy jewelry for the right reasons because we want them to actually buy jewelry because they love wearing jewelry. We want them to buy jewelry because they like the fact that they could wear a nice watch, earrings, necklaces, or pendants, or what have you, right? At the end of the day, if you like it, you're doing it for the right reasons, one thing, but if you're doing it to show off, to make other people make you feel better about yourself because you can afford an expensive piece of jewelry, if you're wearing a piece of jewelry because at the end of the day, it, it's making other people validate who you don't feel as if you are on the inside, then that stems from insecurity, and that's all I'm saying. If you are questioning what I'm saying, you're saying, Mike, you're wrong, Michael, you're wrong, I don't agree with you well but just hear me out okay let me ask you something think about some of the most wealthy people on the planet maybe even some people in your own family people that you know personally that actually have true wealth right the people that normally have true wealth are they usually really decked out in jewelry or is it usually the people that are trying to look rich that is usually decked out in jewelry right so and then even for people that it's not in your own family or a group of friends or in your own circle think about just uh, the public general knowledge of some of the wealthiest people in the world. According to Forbes magazine, the number one wealthiest person in the world as of 2022 is Elon Musk. And the number three wealthiest person in the world as of 2022, according to Forbes magazine, is Jeff Bezos. And if you don't know who they are, Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and Jeff Bezos used to be the CEO of Amazon. When was the last time you saw them wearing earrings, necklaces, Rolexes, and all these expensive items to show people that they're rich? Or do they just wear average clothes and they're the wealthiest people in the world and that's my point because these people normally if they do love jewelry then they will wear jewelry but they have all the money in the world and they don't wear jewelry because they're not doing it for the wrong reasons they're not a flashy person or they just don't care for jewelry right so if they want the jewelry they could probably afford all of the jewelry in the world but they don't care for it so that's the reason what I'm saying at the end of the day do it for the right reasons do it because you love wearing jewelry don't do it to make you look well well, you're not wealthy. And that's all I'm saying. So let me show you this picture here, okay? Jay Z. There's a picture that's, that took you know, the internet by storm a couple of years back where it shows a picture of him when he had $100,000 versus $1 billion in net worth. Look at the difference. When he had $100,000, he was wearing gold chains, all of the jewelry, all the sparkles, and everything to show the world that he's wealthy and he's made it, right? But when he really made it, where he has one B in his bank account, $1 billion, look how much jewelry he's actually wearing. He doesn't wear much jewelry at all, right? Because the wealthiest of the wealthiest don't have to show that you're wealthy. And at the end of the day, that's going to go back to my point as to wrap up this whole message here. That's the reason why people should buy jewelry for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons. Now that said, you know, I want to ask you guys, does this trigger you? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know exactly why you wear jewelry. Do you do it for the right reasons? Or are you doing it for the wrong reasons? You're considering whether or not you should even buy the piece of jewelry that you're thinking about doing. Okay, so hopefully this actually helped you out. This is not your typical Gemini where I went over certain facts and, and so forth. This is very opinion-based, very experience-based, uh, but at the same time, it's actually quite realistic as to why some people purchase jewelry for the wrong reasons. Now, now, if you like what we you saw here and you really like what the, our content, definitely check out our Geminars by clicking on these videos here. It'll take you through everything jewelry under the sun, especially if you like to learn all things jewelry.